Okay, so right now we're gonna talk about how to update your ICTIS ENC. So the one I'm using or that we're using on board this ship is um, some electronic ICTIS Platinum. So first thing, you want to make sure that you have your new updates. You receive them every Thursday. And our provider is Navtor. Um, some use Navbox and download straight to the USB stick and we automatically um, get them straight into our USB stick as it is connected always and as soon as the latest updates arrive it automatically gets inserted to our USB. So we just go ahead and put it into our Ectis and then what you want to do is Go menu and then maintenance. As you can see in short database, we already have the IHOENC, which is what we're gonna update right now. So if not, cho choose that one. For the mode, we wanna go to update. And usually you get the IHOENC protocol. With, which is showing uh, the latest uh, analyze of your ICTIS. So for ours, uh, actually it is stating that I already done this week's update, but to show how you do it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is that you want to install and update the permits. And we want to choose our nav stick. Usually you straight away get the path, but if you don't, you can find it in uh, on your USB stick, you go to info, for us you go to navtor, permits, like this one, choose the permit, text, select, and then you press start. Everything will be a little bit faster now because I already done the updates. But here you can see install and update permit database is ready. Just press OK. Down here you will get the info what had happened. Now it shows zero on added and replaced and rejected because it's already done. And then you can see our total counts of permits which is 16,540. What you want to do after this is that you want to change your function you want to update the ENC database, which means that you will update all your cells. And here are all the green ones, is all our cells all over the world. You go back here, you can minimize the info. Go to ENC root, choose the catalog, select data. Same here, you press start, and now you will actually get the, uh, the cells. If anything turns out red, it means that it either have expired or soon within 30 days will be expired or not safe for navigation. So usually what happens is that uh, during this process it will suggest that you delete the, the cells that either have expired or are not considered safe for navigation. This time we will not have any though you can see it goes super fast as I already done it and now it says uh, that our database is up to date so if we would have anything new we would have seen some numbers here but now it says zero if we would have anything that would need to be deleted right now you would have a, a text box would you press ok and here you would get the cells needed to be deleted you can press select all ok and then you will be done. Besides the, the cells, of course, we also want the AIOs, Admiralty Information Overlays. You go back to Browse, Info, AIO, ENC Root, and take the catalog again. Select, Start. You can see it's a base one media from AIO. Uh, week 29 and there 
there we go done so that is how to update what is good to know of course after you update you only updated this mft multifunction display so on most chips actually you have to have a minimum of two right but uh, we have 10 actually on this chip so what you want to do now is you want to send out the update to all so then you choose um, update remote databases source we will use this one and then we send it out to all others and press start so now i will not because i turned some of them off as we are in layup right now but then it will send out the information from this one uh, to all the other mfds i hope it all made sense to you and um, yeah happy updating <laughs>